You're going to have a partner for most of these drills, um, and we're going to go a little bit four on three and four on four. So today is going to be probably about 45 minutes of almost just straight defensive type stuff. First one what I want to do is you're going to use this court, so we're going to stay here going full length, which is why I have the cone set up, and we're going to start out with one on one. So this is one on one full court. You're trying to turn the guy as many times as possible, and when you get to the blue line, the blue line down there, the thick sideline, then that's when you play one on one and can go live and try to score. So what I want you to do is this. You're going to start out with, so everybody line up over here except for Pouncy and his partner, whoever Pouncy and his partner are. So give me Pouncy and his partner. So I got one group of three, I guess. Okay, so you guys are going to start out right there on this side of the yellow line. Okay, on this side of the yellow cones. Sorry about that. You're trying to deny the ball. So the next groups are over here. The next groups are over here. So one of you will be making an inbounds pass. So you've got the pass to Pouncy. So I want you to be as physical as possible with him, but you're trying to, you're trying to keep him from getting the basketball. So I'm here trying to get him, keep the basketball if you throw him the ball, whatever. Throw him the ball, like, nope, that's not going to be a steal. So you're trying, to get, you're trying to inbound him the ball, and he's trying to get open without breaking that yellow line. Does that make sense? You're trying When he catches the ball, every time he catches the ball, you need to be the initiator of the, of the pressure and the initiator of the contact. So if he catches the ball, so he's, he finally gets open, he catches the ball, I'm up on here. I'm up in physical with him right away. I know... When I come up here like this, where is his first move going to be? His first move is going to be that way, right? So I come up, I'm initiate, and then I'm cutting him off. And it's body-to-body -body contact. So he starts going that way, I cut him off, he's back that way, I should be able to... Okay? I'm trying to turn him as many times as possible. If you go by him, then I just pull, boom, pull back, and now we're playing one-on-one -on -one again. Does that make sense? Next group, get ready to go right away. And then you're playing live. The next group, I want to go ahead and pass in the ball as soon as they go live down there. That way the next group can go. Then you come back and you're going to swap spots. Okay? Right here, blue line. Thick blue sideline. Okay? Hey, here we go. Good, let's go. Get after, get after, get after. Don't reach, don't reach, don't reach. Don't reach. Next group, go. Good, 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 Kenny, good, good, put pressure on him, come on, put pressure on him, I don't want him to feel comfortable, put pressure on him, touch him and then out wide, touch him and then the hands out wide, touch him and then hands out wide, can't go body to body with him, cut him off and then bounce back, cut him off then bounce back, he's hot, he's hot, bounce hot, out wide, boom, out wide, Come on, cut him off. Push it. Touch him, touch him. Come on, man, sit down. Face, he can dance right around you and score. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Don't reach, don't reach, don't reach, don't reach. Use your length, use your length. Big and wide out here, Link. You're six foot nine. Big and wide. I got the ball up here. First group, you're ready to go. First group, come on. First group. Whoever's on defense, on snipes, you're here in the gap. I'm the guy with your chest to your man. I'm going to throw. You're going to close out. It should be able to be close enough to take away the shot. That means zero foot, hand to face. If he's not, shoot it. But don't just shoot it just because you're a shooter, snipes. If you shoot it and a hand's in your face, that's the wrong read. So close out, hand to the face. Then you're trying to drive it. So it's contest and then contain, which your body should be contest means take away the shot. Contain means jump back to push him where you want him to go. Use, your, use the baseline as your friend. So it should be on the catch here. The baseline is my friend. Not like this. That's a blow by. Here, cut off. Don't just force something up. Don't just run out of bounds. If he cuts you off, then turn around and Barkley and play him one-on-one. -on -one. That makes sense? Okay, next group. Get ready to go. Here we go. Ready? Go. Out wide, out wide, out wide. Next group, here we go. Nope, down the gap, you're in the wrong spot. Here we go, Woo. Come on now, keep the gate closed. Keep the gate closed. Down in the gap, you're up too high. Nope, 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 down here. The dash line is right here. Dash, 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 dash. 
<clears throat> Halfway between me and your defender. Ready? Go! That ain't gonna work. Poke behinds don't work. Okay, stop. I've had multiple guys that are closing out completely sideways, and the guy's just blowing right by him. I want you to change the way that you do your, do your closeouts. Look at me. You're going to be down here in a gap. Guy gets the pass. I want you sprinting at him in one, two, three. Okay, so sprint and then break down. I'm starting to break down one, two, three, and now I'm able to play like this so that my toes, again, if I draw a line off your toes, go right there to the short corner. Okay, so close out, one, two, three. Here we go, ready, go. Do it again. You can't close out and push him to the middle. Do it again. Push him to the baseline. Here we go. Out wide, out wide. Much better snipes. Good job, good job, good job, good job, offense. Ready? Halfway. Contest, good. I don't care if he starts to go middle and goes to the elbow. And nobody cares about that. But he can't go and get into the paint. Ready? Stay on your feet, please. I just need a contest. A contest means shoot up. My hand. Woo. Do it again. Stay on your feet. Don't reach, don't reach, don't reach. Good, good, good. Look, if I can draw a straight line from your toes to his toes, if you're mirroring his toes, you're in the wrong spot. If I'm mirroring his toes, where does that mean I'm not? I'm not in a gap. My toes should be pointed, my toes should be pointed high above his feet. Here we go, ready? Stay on your feet. Good Kenny, good Kenny. Kenny, much better, much better, much better. Good. Set that ball right there on the ground, pound. See, Brian, you're right there in the corner, you're right here. Defense, defense, defense. You're next, so stay off. This is four versus three. This is four versus three. <clears throat> this is both the offensive and defensive drill, but today we're focusing on the defense side of it. Hayes should be giving pressure to the basketball. That means up and the way that we practice the full court stuff. Don't get blown by, but he needs to feel your pressure. So it's pressure. Every time he puts the ball on the ground, make him change directions. <clears throat> Everybody else, you're in gap. If he throws it over the top, you're rotating. So throw it over the top. You're rotating, go Link, go Link. You gotta run to the ball, man. You're the closest to the ball. Everybody's rotating off of that. You've gotta, con you've gotta com communicate. That way I don't have two guys running at the basketball. I can't have two guys and I can't have no guys. All right, you're obviously a man down. You can catch it, shoot it, or catch it and drive it. Offense, you are not allowed to drive it twice. That's actually a rule within our offense that I haven't really talked a lot about, but you're not supposed to drive it twice. So if Brian drives it, go ahead, Brian, drive it on Lincoln. Brian drives it and throws it along the baseline to Trevor. Throws it along the baseline to Trevor. Trevor should not catch it and drive it again. The reason he should not drive it again is because right now there's two and a half, three guys standing in the paint. Trevor doesn't want to drive it right back into everything that was just here. So it should be drive, kick, one more. If Hayes recovers fast enough, then you may go one more there. Make sense? Okay, here we go. Dump the ball. We ready? Here we go. They're afoot. Why did you pass the ball? Was anybody stopping you? Okay. It ain't good. Just to pass doesn't mean it's a good idea. You saw him going to pick up the ball and you waited until the ball literally was right here to start turning and running. So you need to see him start to pick up and gather and start to move over that way. If you're off the ball and your feet are stuck on the ground, you're not playing good off ball defense. Your feet should be constantly moving. All right, here we go, ready? Next one, here we go. Stop. Why do I have two guys running at the basketball? You never guard two passes in a row, and you need to open your mouth. 
You have to start talking. You are a junior. You are one of our upperclassmen. You have to start talking. That's why I'm holding you to a higher standard than most of all the other new guys. You are older. You should be playing. You've played in a Division II program. You should know what this looks like. Communicate and talk. Here we go. Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. 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 That's you, Brian. Just go. Yes, you're closest. You're the closest. Fill in the blank. I have a best answer in mind as far as like for me, what I'm thinking, but that doesn't mean there's others right answers. We were best defensively when we blank in that last drill, Will. We were the best defensively when we talked talk defensively. That's what I thought. Okay? Anybody else have something else in mind? Point two, pointing helps. I've got a couple others. That was one. We were best when we were pointing and talking. And we were best in that drill when we committed immediately to the basketball. Because when you have indecision, who else has indecision? Your teammate. your teammate doesn't know where you're running. So you're late to the ball, and then he's late to the next pass. If you run straight to the basketball, then Connor knows if I run straight to the basketball, then Connor, as my teammate, knows I need to make sure that I get to the next guy. So communicate and point. That means verbal and nonverbal. You know that in your communication classes. Yes. Which one actually matters more? Most of the time, nonverbal. And then we are decisive in where we go. The next one is going to kind of test you on that. This is our 4v4, and we're going to go 4v4, and let's go 4v4. I'll go ahead and grab the cones. We're going to go 4v4 cone drill. This is the one where, go ahead, Brian, get in the corner. You don't need a basketball. Somebody match up with Brian. You're on offense, Lincoln. Kenny, you're on defense, staying right behind his left hip. Everybody look at me right now. Are you in a gap? You're in a gap and you're in help. You're catching it and driving it. I don't care which way you drive it. I'm looking at Hayes and Hayes is probably a little bit closer than he is. Yeah. So I'm probably starting to drive it that way. I'm also thinking I'm gonna make him, the coach is gonna get after him if I start driving at him and he does what? I'm gonna get after you if he starts to drive it that way and you fill in the blank and you jump over there and help. So we're 30% committed to the drive, 70% committed to that guy right there. So you're already in a position to help. Hayes is supposed to meet you, sorry. Davis is supposed to meet you at the top of the, here? C-chest pass. C-chest, come to a jump stop. Not a running pass, a floating pass, and a jumping in the air, elusive pass, a stop, and a nice pass. Okay. Hayes will rotate, Kenny will rotate. Okay. You're playing live, no double drives. Got that? Ready, go! Okay, you are zero foot and contest at his face. You weren't at zero foot and you didn't contest at his face. Here we go. <clears throat> nope, don't flip it. You got four times in a row, right? Or three times in a row. Here we go. Okay, I don't want to jump up in the air and tips. I don't want to jump up in the airs and steals. I want you to get there and arrive on the catch with a zero foot closeout. Okay, switch it. And stop. That's you, Lincoln. Yep, you're rotating down. Snipes is rotating over. Everybody rotate up one spot. Let's go. Rotate up one spot. Everybody rotate up one spot. Everybody on defense, rotate up one spot. Stop, stop. Where is your chest? Where is your chest? These are, listen guys, these are the little things that when I'm saying that we're not great at off-ball defense that I'm referring to. Chest to your man, already in the gap, sitting down, pointing at both things, ready to play, tennis feet, ready to go. I can hear, this looks like I'm stunting, I'm not doing this, that gets me off position, I'm here. I'm ready to go, it looks like I'm jabbing at something, I can close out, I can play defense, I'm ready to go.